NKC Art. Okay. In order to make your line design and pattern mitten, what you're going to do is you're going to start out with your paper. It's a little large for my screen. And I'm going to kind of screw back and forth as I go along. The first thing you're going to do is not really in the middle of your paper, just maybe a little bit higher up. You're going to draw a kind of a straight line across. This doesn't have to be too straight. It can be a little bit wavy if you'd like. Um, just take your pencil and you're going to draw the line across here. This is going to be the line that our mittens are hanging off of. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a mitten um, outline or template that you can trace around. If you don't have one, you can freehand it if you're doing this at home, or maybe your parents can cut one out for you that you can trace. Uh, we're practicing some tracing today. Um, what I'm gonna do is just kind of lay the top of that mitten on the line, and I'm gonna hold it really good, and you're gonna trace around the edges of the mitten. Go slowly, um, and just try to stay right up against that mitten. If you move, your tracing, um, it'll be hard to get it back in the same spot. So you wanna hold it as still as you can. And after you've traced your glove, you'll see that line that we drew going through it. You can erase that out of your mitten. So it looks like the mitten is now in front of that line. Then I'm gonna place another mitten next to it. I think I'm gonna turn this one this direction. Um, then I'm going to do the same thing and trace around the mitten, taking my time. I'm not drawing with too hard of pressure because I don't want my pencil to be too dark. In case I make a mistake, I want to be able to go back and erase it like that mistake right there. Went off of my template just a little bit. And the same thing with the line in the middle. You're just going to go ahead and erase that. We don't need that going through our mitten. And I've got room for my third mitten over here. I think I'll flip it this direction. And same thing again. I'm just gonna trace my mitten going around the shape. And just trying to do the best that I can after I'm done tracing that, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. And now I have my three mittens hanging on a line. I'm going to do a line pattern in each one of the gloves, in each one of the mittens. I'm not gonna use like polka dots or hearts or anything like that. I'm just gonna to stick to lines, vertical lines, horizontal lines, diagonal lines wavy, any kind of lines that you can think of. I think on my first glove, I'm gonna go with some diagonal lines. Kind of go up the glove like this. And I think I'm gonna reverse those diagonal lines and start going the other direction now. And then in this last little section, uh, I think I'm just gonna do some vertical lines. You can do whatever lines you would like to on your glove, any design you would like to do. On my second glove, I think I'm gonna go with wavy lines, like this. And then maybe some more diagonal lines down the side here. And my last glove, I think I'm gonna use some horizontal lines like section these off and then some vertical lines inside of that and then I haven't done zigzag lines I think I'm going to do some zigzag lines to this glove and now I have all of my line pattern gloves hanging on my line the last thing you're going to do is you are going to trace your mittens in the black Sharpie or black marker. This will make the lines stand out and look even better when we are done filling it in with color. So go ahead and trace all of your lines in black. And when we're 
we're done with this part, sometimes you don't trace exactly on the pencil um, and you might get off the lines a little bit, that's okay. You can always go back and erase those lines so you don't even see them on your work once you're done outlining in black Sharpie or black marker. I'm just following my shapes along my lines and tracing them in. And then I'll get my last glove over here. Fill those in. Ooh, I'm starting to run out of black ink in my marker. And then I'm going to trace the line that they're hanging from in the background. Oops, I forgot some lines over here. When you're done with that, what you're going to do is go ahead and trace or er, uh, color in your mittens with your markers. If you're at home and you don't have markers, you can use crayons, colored pencils, anything that you would like. Um, so just go back in and fill in your patterns with marker. And next week we will be working on our background for our picture. You might want to go ahead and write your name down on your paper. So I'm going to put Buchanan and then I'm going to put 1P. Um, like I'm in Miss Porter's class just for just for now and I'm gonna color this one in so once you are done coloring in your mittens with your markers um, just save this paper in a nice safe place and we will finish it up next week I look forward to seeing your work